Upper angle you can also measure with the help of spirit level. So in the case of spirit level, we have a horizontal surface and we have if the surface is inclined, then the bubble will move by an angle equal to alpha. So let's consider this horizontal surface. Initially the bubble is at center position, that is at position C. As we tilt the horizontal surface that is inclined, so B will change to B dash, then C will change to D. So let this distance travel are very very small. H is a vertical distance travel and D is a horizontal distance travel. So using simple geometry, we can calculate tan angle here, inclined angle tan alpha. OB represents here the original position, that is the horizontal surface of a spirit level. When we the bubble exactly at position C, and when the surface is inclined like this, we get a new position. Let's say this is radius R and this one is length L. Vertical distance moved is H and horizontal distance traveled is D by the bubble. So we can very well apply tan alpha is equal to H by L. So tan alpha is equal to H by L is same as D by R. So we can calculate here what is the height change or what is the height change is known we can calculate angle alpha here if you are able to measure the d position the distance d next topic going to discuss is the measuring of threads we can measure the threads by using three wire method thread ring gauge thread plug gauge thread snap gauge screw thread micrometer and optical comparator out of that we'll discuss here three wire method and you can remember the standard angles for Whitworth, Unified, British as 55, 60 and 55 degree. So in the three wire measuring process, as shown in the figure, these are the threads that we want to measure. And for this purpose, we are using the, this wire of equal diameter is placed between the crest and root. And above that one, we have a micrometer. So we can very easily measure the vertical distance M. Using micrometer, you can measure M. So as far as this uh, method is considered and gate is considered, only remember the one formula that is the best wire diameter D can be obtained by using P by 2 into sec of alpha by 2 where alpha is called as alpha is called as thread angle and we have P stands for pitch. <coughs> alpha you can record from Whitworth Unified British as 55, 60 and 55 degrees. Effective diameter, don't remember the formula for effective diameter, just only find out the best wire diameter P by 2 sec of alpha by 2. That is sufficient for gate. So take care one numerical. This appeared in gate 2013. A metric thread of pitch is given is 2 mm. Thread angle is given as 60. Is expected for pitch diameter using 3 wire method. It's a straightforward question. So you have to calculate best diameter D is equals to P by 2 into sec of alpha by 2 so in this case pitch is equal to 2 so we have 2 by 2 sec of alpha by 2 that is <coughs> 60 by 2 that is cos 1 upon cos 30 so you can calculate this value 1.154 mm choice b is correct Then one question is asked in gate examination is about the sign bar. We have a height of sign bar is 125 mm is used to measure taper of 37 degrees 32 minutes on a flat workpiece. You want to find out the height. So here angle is given in degrees and minutes so we have to convert into degrees. 27 is degrees, 32 is minutes so divide by 60. So this answer will come in degrees because you want on Kelsey you have to supply the degree only so it is 27.53 degrees you want to find out the height and length is given as 125 mm so we have sine of theta is equal to delta h by l so we have delta h equal to l into sine theta that is 125 multiplied by sine of 27.53 so this is the answer it is 57.782 mm straightforward question only problem is 27 degrees and 32 minutes you can effectively convert it so in this question also you have to find out the best wire diameter 
include angle is given as 60 of 20 mm diameter and 2.5 mm pitch so we are interested in pitch and we are interested in angle to find out the best wire diameter so you can very well calculate best wire diameter using p by 2 sec of alpha by 2 so best wire diameter is p by 2 into 1 upon cos of alpha by 2 so this answer will come 2.5 divided by 2 into 1 upon cos of angle is given as 60 so this is 30 so this answer is 1.443 choice A is correct